There's a new 3D printed cast that can allegedly help uh, bones heal faster. Uh, it's it's a, the latest development in combining two really in, interesting uh, technologies together to make one great new one. This is the osteoid cast and um, the addition to the cool design from the 3D printed technology which is made after scanning the, the wrist, I think in this instance, is the LIPIS generator. It stands for Low Intensity Pulsed Ultrasound. It attaches to the cast and sends pulsed ultrasound to the affected area. This is a ther therapy that has been proven before to speed the regeneration of damaged bone. Which is cool. I mean, casts have looked the same for quite a while now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess it was time for something new that worked better. And we've been we've been doing like designer uh, even prosthetics at this point using 3D printing technology. So it's, I'm not surprised because the two major applications that are actually worthwhile in 3D printing which is space travel and medical, you know, I'm not surprised that we're moving forward in the medical field with 3D printing. You know? Well we are now and um, yeah, well we according to them we're moving even more now with right. this. <laughs> Uh, for single 20-minute daily sessions, the system promises to reduce the healing process by up to 38% and increase the heal rate of up to 80% in non-union fractures. And on top of that, you get the, the benefit of the 3D print design, which helps um, keep the cast well ventilated, yeah. which minimizes the smell of the cast. I was going to say, no more sweaty itching. casts, but then oh, how are you going to sign these casts anymore? It's waterproof, which means you don't have to wear a plastic bag in the shower anymore. Yeah! This is a victory! <laughs> yeah, there you I go. I think it would make me feel kind of bionic, having really? that cool like lattice it's thing it. crawling cool. on my arm. Again, though, what, how are these kids going to actually feel popular now if they can't sign that thing? You, you can, know? okay, look, look, you get a fine point silver sharpie and you write uh, in the lattices, in the or, lattices. or temporary tattoos in the holes. Am I right, guys? I think you're right. Shut it down. No, Just, no one's going to go for this. <laughs> can't sign the cast? Disagreed. Don't want to deal with Disagreed. it. Disagreed. I would get that if my wrist was broken again. How about this? I'll, 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 I'll solve my own problem. Get temporary tattoos with QR codes that have each one of them go to the Facebook profile of the person who signed it. QR pro, uh, codes are lame. They are pretty lame. Yeah. <sighs> So um, we're, I'm gonna go with my solution, <laughs> which is look awesome and write on it like a little. Actually, I want to write on it. It's too pretty. Now, do you do you trust something that is the brainchild of New Zealand designer Jake Evil? <laughs> do we are we sure of his intentions I'm a fan in this of project? Scott Evil. So <laughs> like maybe. Are you saying that we're that we're breeding a army of bionic robots under the guise of healing bones quicker? I'm not not saying it. <laughs> right. So Jake Evil. Okay. <laughs> did design the Cortex 3D printed cast, which is um, a half of this design, which is two, uh, two technologies brought together to make a new uh, purposed medical Super technology. Super technology, sure. It's in, and yes, this is still a prototype at this stage, though we think it's pretty cool, or maybe some of us think it's pretty cool, and some of us would rather have the traditional cast. Uh, what, tell us what you think below of the osteoid cast, if you would use one, if you would get one, I think you would. But let us know what you think below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.